Hey, thanks for joining us on today's very special video. I would like to say it's special only for this reason because I'd like to predict the future. And I say this uh, with a small caveat in the sense that this is the last year of this car. And if anybody's looked at Ferrari history, uh, you can see that these cars have gone up in value over time. When we talk about a car and its collector car status, we talk about things because we sell American classics as well. We sell uh, these kinds of, we sell British uh, cars too. And as we look at some of those cars, we've seen how the trends has moved there. So let's talk about this one in particular, all right? This is a car with 20,900 miles on it, right? Do the math, this is 1999 uh, F355. We're doing this video in 2020, right? 21 years later, um, that is super low miles. All right, so let's talk about the, the things that I think that make a difference. First off, we talked about the mileage just a second ago, right? Service history, we have enormous uh, following of the service history. Not that it was super expensive, but just nice service history over time. This car just recently serviced as well as we just put a new convertible top on it, right? So it was the original top, it was 21 years old. It was nice, but the threads were kind of, you know, eh, because it was so nice. Because the car was so nice, the top wasn't as nice as the rest of the car because it's a mechanical item and it was canvas, right? It wasn't so great, but the interior is spectacular. The sound that this car makes is really great. Um, we refinished the wheels in this. If you don't love this color, we can actually make them body color the way they were from the factory. It was just a nice little touch with the red calipers. Again, if you want to return it back to bone stock, that's an easy fix, or you could do it later on down the road, whatever. Uh, it is what it is. So we're going to look at the car. We're going to look at the quality of the paint. We're going to look for paint chips. We're going to look for things that will help you make a decision so that you can move forward and not miss it, right? So let's talk about that first. Factory, and I don't want to butcher the Italian when I say it, Argento. Norbert. Yeah, I butchered it. Anyway, I'm Italian. I can't even speak Italian very well, so, uh, but I can order well uh, when we do get Italian. So come on up here. Let's check this out, and we'll look at some paint quality for a second. All right, so as we look at this here, you can read all the letters nice and clear. This is, uh, this is really, really nice paint. And I'd like to point out, too, that it's underneath these harsh lights in here. This car glows silver and black. Silver and black just look so good together, uh, and I really feel like that is show quality. All right, so back to, uh, you know, collector car status and authentic and things like that. For instance, we have Ferrari glass in here, right? You know, Ferrari doesn't make their own glass. They just have the glass maker put their stamp on there. So that's, uh, that's etched into it. And then underneath here, we still have like the original carpets. Uh, the struts have been replaced because normally this would fall down after 20 years. The struts can only last for so long. This has an upgraded sound system. And they did a nice job uh, with this amp and speakers and things like that. Secondly, or lastly, uh, we have the tool kit, which is nice from the factory. It's as beautiful as a piece of luggage uh, would be, it's embossed with that in there as well. All right. And then you also, the part we forget is there's a lot of room in here, man. This is a huge well. Like in, compared to a 911, uh, this holds like three or four uh, nice soft-sided luggage. So you could go away for the weekend in this car. Can you imagine what the weekend would be like going someplace? The sound of that exhaust, top down rolling down some nice country roads on your way to the chalet, shall we say, all right? It's just uh, a very, very different experience. All right, so as we look around here, we're saying to ourselves, well, this is a great looking car, but a lot of times we don't know why, right? We say, well, it must be just a great looking car because it's a Ferrari. Well, it is, but it's also uh, a great body style. Like this is going to be a classic someday. It's already uh, started to go up in value these cars. Um, this rim, this wheel has really weathered the test of time as far as style goes as well. It's still, they're still building modern cars today with it. The caliper's painted red. Again, there's a couple small touches on this car that are not factory stock, and the great thing about it is you can return it back to stock with very little effort. We can shoot these silver, we could paint those uh, silver as well. That uh, badge on the fender there is uh, the Scuderia badge there is, uh, is a stick on, right? So that's just, a, it says drilled into the body, so it comes right off. And this right here, this is kind of uh, kind of cool. This is uh, Ferrari, so we're designed by Pininfarina for so many years. Pininfarina is an Italian design house, and uh, they've been designing those cars for decades, right? And uh, they like to put their little badge on that. That's part of the deal that they have there. So I think it's kind of cool, and uh, it's nice that it shows off well. 
All right, so going back to like the little styling stuff. I love this, man. It's just, uh, for instance, this double scoop right here is a piece of style, but it's also functional because inside here, another nice piece, there's no door handle here to muck up the style of it. You reach inside here, the door handle's inside there, and look at that, all of that to go right into the brake ducts inside there, right? For cooling, you know, these cars, as luxurious as they are, were designed to be fast to begin with anyway. And then this engine lid, I have to tell you, I look at this engine lid every time I walk by and go, somebody gave this a lot of thought. Those are pressed in louvers, right? Uh, a machine shop did this deck. They took the flat steel and then they made these louvers. The underneath is just as pretty. It's all braced. It's really, really nice. That's why I think uh, sometimes when they went to the glass of the 360s, you lost some style. All right, let's take a peek. You know, this is 1999, right? I think Limp Biscuit was still playing. I think that... Uh, a Pearl Jam still had a, a hit out at the time, right? So this car, although has uh, a test of time, it's very modern. I'll tell you why I say that. It's 3.5 liter, 40 valve V8, almost 400 horsepower, right? 400 horsepower, you say, well, they're making 600 horsepower today in modern cars. Yeah, but this car weighs a thousand pounds less than today's modern Ferrari. It weighed a lot less back then. It didn't have, it wasn't saddled with all of the, the stuff that they've put on cars today, right? These red hoses, we have the original black hoses. It's just designed for a little engine dress up uh, as part of the, the upgrades that were done on the car. Again, everything comes with, uh, we have the hoses, the original hoses in a box. You can return it right back to stock if you want to. You can see the suspension right here when you hit it on sport mode, right? The suspension is electronic, it stiffens up. It also changes the throttle position of the engine. It also uh, adds uh, just a, a blip for the downshift. So it comes with some really great stuff, really modern stuff ahead of its time before anything else. Not to mention the ridiculous exotic sound that comes out of the back of this car as you're rolling down the road. The compression inside this engine, the firing order and things like that just makes for everyone fabulous, fabulous uh, symphony of sounds. And when the top's down, even better. All right, so let's join, uh, let's join each other inside here for a moment. So this is kind of nice. And I like to point this out too is that I'm 6'1", and I like to point out how much room is in here. So for tall people, there's still good headroom for the top. This is leather, by the way. The boot that covers the convertible top is leather. It sits down inside here. Uh, power seats, and then, quite honestly, the dash is still super modern. I love this 355 F1 badge that's right there, but climate control, right? Uh, power seats, power top, power windows, power locks, um, um, full gauge is like a 10,000 RPM tack. Did you hear that? 10,000 RPM tack and a 200 mile an hour speedometer. That's like a big deal, right? So uh, lastly, this is what happens here. So we're talking about an F1 transmission. So it really does have a clutch in it, right? You say, well, it has a clutch in it? How's it possible? Where's the, where's the shifter? Where's the clutch pedal? Well, it's all handled electronically. It has a shifter, but the shifter's bolted to the transmission instead of being here. And it's just actuated by a plunger. Super simple. Most modern cars have gone this way now as anyway because it's the best way. You can't make a mistake. This is protects the car. You can't over rev the car. You can't downshift the car with too many revs. You can't do things that you would normally do with a manual transmission that could potentially hurt it, right? So, wow, that's really cool. What if I got to jump on the phone? Do I have to keep shifting? No, you can push the automatic button right here. The car goes into automatic shift mode. It handles the up and down shift. You don't have to worry about it. You can handle your phone call. Hey, when it hits 100, sell. Right? That's a nice thing that you might want to say in your Ferrari. You sound kind of cool. Maybe not, but anyway. Uh, lastly, uh, if you want to drive it and you want to drive it, it's very simple. It says up here and down here. That's up shift, down shift. You just pull it towards you, handles it in. Also, too, when you come up to a light, it'll downshift automatically if you forgot to do that. It won't stall out. It eliminates all of the guesswork of making a mistake and the busyness of life and things like that and allows you to engage and enjoy the car. So anyway, I just throw that out there. Uh, some people know about that. Some people do not know about it. And I like to share, you know, the details of that uh, just so you know how it works. And just when it's in sport mode and you downshift and the engine blips the throttle automatically, you sound like a professional when you're driving. It is so awesome. So as we close up this video, let's run down a couple small things if you don't mind. 792 is the production figures uh, for Ferrari for 1999 to the United States. That's a pretty low number. Take out uh, 355s and take out uh, F1 Spiders and you have a small window of cars left. How many low mileage serviced spectacular condition cars are left? That's why I say collector car quality. Don't buy, I'm telling you man, do something else. Don't buy a cheap 
luxury or exotic car with high miles. You're going to hate yourself. You know why? Because as they get way up in miles, you know, in 60, 80, and 90,000 miles, they are less expensive, but then you're spending money on that. Here, you spend a couple more dollars, right, than maybe that other car, but you can drive it today and you can wheel it and enjoy it and know that, uh, that they're selling for, for very similar to around what you paid for it here. And the reason why I say that is you know that these cars aren't selling for $15,000, right? They've stalled at a certain level, and the reason they've stalled at a certain level is because today's modern Ferrari, the least expensive one, starts at two fifty. dollars and it goes all the way up over $400,000. That's why these are a great deal, a great bargain, great looking, and uh, a fabulous car to drive. Four wheel independent suspension, so you get a nice ride, the great engine in the back, all that good stuff. Anyway, call us, 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this 99 Ferrari F1 355 Spider. Don't forget to uh, share that if you don't mind this video with your friends and everybody. And uh, we're going to go for a little test drive, right? A little test drive. I hope you get to watch that. And I'd love to hear your story about a Ferrari. Maybe you went to the factory. Maybe you knew uh, somebody here in the United States that was from uh, Italy that uh, knew a lot about these and had gave you the passion that kind of gave us the same passion as well. So anyway, uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you later.